in news from Afghanistan, a journalist and a studio technician of an Afghan television station were killed when a private bus carrying them was bombed in Kabul on Saturday. At least six other journalists were wounded in the blast. The attack has sparked several reactions seeking intervention of law enforcement authorities in investigating this act of terrorism. Two employees of an Afghan television station, Zamir Amiri and Saifullah Zabi, were killed when a private bus carrying them was bombed in Kabul on Saturday. At least six other journalists were wounded in the roadside rush hour blast. A preliminary probe showed a bomb attached by magnets to the bus used by Kabul-based Khurshid TV employees was blown up during the evening rush hour. No militant group claimed responsibility for the attack. The attack has sparked several reactions including family and friends who have criticized the government for inaction to the security of the citizens and for not preventing terrorist attacks. Condemning the attack, Abdullah Abdullah, head of the High Council for National Reconciliation, called on law enforcement authorities to fully investigate this act of terrorism. Afghan President Ashraf Ghani spokesman Sadiq Siddiqui condemned the attack, calling it a terrorist attack. Meanwhile, Rafi Rafiq Siddiqui, CEO of Khurshid TV, referring to similar incidents against big media outlets in the past, hoped that Saturday's incident is not forgotten. Afghan Journalist Safety Committee called on security forces to identify the perpetrators.